Hey, Scorpio. Let's get you a tarot reading, Scorpio, for February. The first week of February, pretty much. All right, so I was getting that. There's someone here who's going through like a desolate period or like they don't have enough or they're feeling kind of like left out. Nobody loves me or someone who just doesn't have enough right now. Not enough to go around. Okay. But it's somebody's karma to go through this. Someone needs to handle it. Okay. It's not something that can be run away from or just left alone. So whoever that is, just know. I feel like you're dealing with somebody like this. There's an air sign that's talking a lot or you're gonna hear some news about this person. This air sign is trying to talk to you, wanting to talk to you. Yeah, wanting to talk to you. I also saw that there is a water sign you may be missing or missing you. All right. What's happening here for Scorpio? Oops. This week, please. Bottom of the deck. Wow. Well, good for you, Scorpio. Looks like you're on top of the world. Okay. I am actually seeing the world card. Interesting. But I feel like this is you being proud of your accomplishments. You're getting good pats on the back. You're getting a lot of things coming to you this week. I feel like you're going to be happy, elated, exhilarated um, about certain accomplishments here. Yeah, look, the sun card. You're really happy. Okay, so you're free from any type of brokenness, brokenheartedness, or any energy of feeling broke here. Okay, it's done and it's over with. You're moving forward. You're real happy. You're elated. You're on top of the world. Okay. Interesting. What else? Oh, King of Wands. Okay. So you got some apathy coming in about your situation and the Ace of Swords. Someone here is wanting to talk to you. And I don't know if there's like a stubborn energy surrounding this or it's almost like it's like a refusal. Okay. What is this? Hold on. Let me see about this four of cups for the situation. person is like a getting getting your energy that okay how do I explain this I feel like there's someone here who feels like they're not getting your best which they're not so this is making them mad here it's almost like they're on the back burner tell me about this four cups Someone's on the feeling like they're the back burner person or energy. Justice. The nine of cups. The six of wands. The queen of pentacles. <laughs> I told you there was some amount of karma here, right? It's almost like someone being left out or someone not being accepted here is their karma, okay? Like their feeling of lack or being being not accepted or not part of the group or not wanted here is karma. It's like, no, I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want you. I don't want to talk to you. Don't talk to me. Something like that going on, okay? And because you showed up with the six of wands here, I feel like you're winning this is what you want. You're moving towards some sort of stability here. Okay, you're good. You're taking care of yourself. You're happy. Nine of cups is definitely a solo type energy, but it looks like you're getting attention here. I feel like there's someone here who's refusing to accept that they lost. Okay, either they lost you or they lost to a competition. They lost a battle, guys. Okay, maybe they're wanting to give up. Anyway, let's go to this King of Wands energy for Scorpio. Let's see what's going on here. My sun card. Okay, see, I told you. There's the battle. You got five of wands here. 
there you are. Emperor and the Ten of Pentacles. This feels like a big fight, guys. It's almost like I see you, Scorpio, like watching people go at it. And you're sitting there like real, real kind of like stoic with that emperor energy. It's almost like you're, you're basically like, hold me back, hold me back. Or it's kind of like, <laughs> I'm serious. It's like, don't make me get off of this throne or make me get up off of this chair here. Because look at this. This emperor and this king of wands are kind of side-eyeing people going at it over here. You see that? Scorpio, what in the heck do you always have going on? Seriously. <laughs> Tell me about this. And it's interesting because it's like, this makes you happy or it's almost like you're, you're, you're like, yeah, that's what you get. Or yeah, it's karma. You feel like someone's troubles, someone's conflict, someone's issue, someone's problems. It's karma. It's like being paid to them and you're happy about this. And now this person feels like they lost. I told you they feel like they lost a battle or a competition with you. Or they lost you, like I said. This is so weird. Okay, tell me about this Ace of Swords, please. Scorpio, you always have some complicated stuff going on. Lately, I don't know why lately. Okay, I just saw the Devil card. Tell me about this Ace of Swords for whoever this is. Your, your past, I don't know if it was two readings or the last reading. Okay, the King of Cups. This is someone who's trying to talk to you, like I said. Okay, your past reading or your past two readings have been like... Pretty much about people having problems around you. And you're kind of sitting amongst it like... I don't know. Like what's going on or something like that. Okay, the Three of Pentacles. The Lovers. What? So you have someone over here wanting to express that they're trying to, to have, like make a relationship deal with you or come into partnership with you here. Some of you, this could be like a, like a workplace thing. Okay, it doesn't have to be. It looks like to be something very stable, some sort of relationship, okay, some sort of deal this person's trying to come in with. And you're like holding yourself back here or you're like watching people scrap over this or over this person. I don't really know what's going on just yet. Yeah, look, you're like, I wonder if I should just hold myself back right now. Maybe I just won't say anything. I don't really want to talk right now. It's it's like you're waiting to see what's going on or how that something is going to play out before you do anything. I'm seeing hangman energy. It's like, let me see how this plays out. Let me see these people go at it. Or let me see this person really try. Okay, I don't know right now. Hold on. Let me see. Scorpio, how do you see this person? Because this is someone trying to make a decision to come into partnership with you. They have an offer for one. They've been working on an offer for one. They have an idea about one. They're like, oh, I got it. This is like light bulb moment, okay? I know how this will work between us. I finally know how this is going to work between us. I've been trying to do this forever. And here it is, Scorpio. And there's like a refusal. It's like, no thanks. I don't want that. Literally like back burner energy or not even an option, okay? Actually, can I see something really quick, Scorpio? I hope you don't mind. I'm just curious as to why you're watching this go down here. And you're kind of trying not to get involved. It's like, let me not put my finger in there. Let me not put my say. I really feel like there's some sort of situation going on around you. And you're like, I should not get involved. This is a bad idea. Even though I want to. Like, you want to jump in there and like settle it or fix it. <laughs> Let me see about this. I feel like you're like angry or like you're getting like real frustrated with these people. Don't get in a fight, Scorpio. Please don't do it. It's not worth it. 
Like this could literally, I feel like you're trying to hold yourself back from like having an altercation, like a public one even. Super strange. Okay. It's Empress, World Card, and Two of Swords. All right. This is some sort of couple. And it's like there's a big tussle over a relationship or a couple is arguing with one another here. And I feel like you're trying to like stay out of it. I don't know what part you're playing in this. I just know you're trying to like hold yourself back. Like, let me just be calm. Let me be cool for a minute because I feel like this could easily draw you in. All right, or it's trying to. That little tussle over there with nonsense. Like it's almost like a duty aid is watching kids go at it on the playground and they're getting ready to stand up and blow the whistle at them. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's what it feels like. Because these are pages, all arguing and fighting and making a fool of themselves. All right. Scorpio sees this person. Oh. I already can tell that there's too many people in this reading. Scorpio sees this person. How? The two of swords, the lovers. Mm -hmm. All right. Nine of swords. All right, this person, you're seeing them as being blocked, being stuck, being stagnant, being between two paths here, and maybe the one path that they want, especially if it's relating to you, is blocked. So you see this person with some sort of offer to come into union or to partner with you, and you're basically seeing them stressed about that. It's like, man, I can't change this, or... I can't go back to that. It's not open for me. The door is no longer open or, you know, Scorpio won't let me in. Something like that's going on. That's how you see them. Yeah, they won't open up to me, whatever. Let me see. This could be a Gemini. Well, this person is displaying a ton of Gemini energy to you. All right. Let me see here. So it's like this person is trying to communicate with you and you're blocking it and you, you are so aware of this. All right, hold on. How does this person see Scorpio? Because Gemini is a sign of communication and that's what they're coming in with too, communication. The two of wands, they see you between paths. Interesting. There's your knight of wands, your ace of cups, huh? This person feels like you have two energies coming toward you. One very slow one and one kind of fiery and passionate one. That's how this person is saying it, especially with the two of wands here. So they also see that you have a good offer coming in or they're just perceiving this somehow. There's a love offer here. They're aware of it or something of that sort. Maybe they just think that, okay? They're like, oh, Scorpio has two people. Maybe you do have two people, Scorpio, because people are over here up in arms or twisted, whatever the heck is wrong with them. And that you have some sort of decision to make about what path you're taking. Let's say, for example, it's not two people. You have one offer coming in. Then this is you saying, all right, I'm going to slow it down and take things slow or I'm going to rush and hurry up and, and move forward with it. So this person is somehow considering this. They're like, okay, so is Scorpio's love offer, if, even if it's from them, because I feel like they are trying to have one with you. No, this person feels like they're seeing you with someone. That's the thing. Okay. So you're here kind of like, all right, so am I going to choose myself or am I going to move forward with this? That's pretty much what this is. All right. So Scorpio wants with this person, what? What does Scorpio want with this person? Please. See the chariot, the sun card. You're like, let's not let this get out of hand here. 
the strength card and the six of wands. Wow. You're saying as long as things are not too rambunctious, as long as things have some, some sort of direction or some amount of um, this is the best thing for us or this is the good path for me, then there's a big opportunity for success here. That's pretty much what you're saying. So you want happiness, you want success, you know. You may feel like, hold on. Holding back from this person is your best success, actually. Let me see what you consider that. Because I remember seeing you up here like, mm -hmm. oh, wow. You're working on some um, familial happiness, okay? So this is like longevity. It's... um. It's your main desire right now is to be happy within your home, within your household, maybe financially. Okay, that's pretty much what this is showing up as. And that's your success. And it's almost like, well, if this person can get on board with that, then okay. But if not, then whatever. I don't know. I don't feel like you're too attached to this. Whatever this person's thing is. It's almost like, yeah, I like this person. We have a good time together or they give me great attention here or something like that. Hold on, let me see what they want. What's this person want with Scorpio? Eight of Pentacles. Lovers, I'm telling you. Person. Wow. Okay. This, whoever the heck this is, thinks that you guys are the happy ever after together. And that's what they want with you. And that's what you're blocking. They feel like you're blocking that, okay? So this is someone, wow, look, they want marriage? Who the hell? Look at this, Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Wands with the lovers and the Ten of Cups. This is someone who wants to have marriage and union, the whole shebang, and they feel like they're gonna fight for this. They're gonna work on this. They're gonna make sure that everything works out here or they're waiting for an opportunity to. They're trying to come up with the perfect offer for you to give you this, okay? I feel like they could actually be wanting to give you something in the future. Interesting. Tell me more about the Seven of Wands. They're wanting to fight for that with you. I don't. I don't know how open you are to it because you, you kind of look like, you know, you're enjoying yourself, having a good time. You have priorities or whatever that is. Tell me about the seven of wands. Yeah, so there's, yeah, they're saying you're blocking it. That's you, Scorpio. They're saying you, you're, you've blocked them. You may have had some major disappointment, disagreement, big failure here with this person. It could have been due to a betrayal, actually, from what I'm seeing. This looks like betrayal. And that's why you're saying no, no to this past, no to this reconciliation, because there was some sort of betrayal here. And so they're trying to work on ways to offer this to you, but you're, I don't even know if you're communicating with this person, because what they're saying is, they want to communicate something to you, or this could be like a specific thing, or to open up communication in general as well, because you keep showing me with a blockage. It feels like, no, I don't want to go back to that type of relationship, or, you know, maybe not be so intertwined, like we can have fun, or whatever that is, if you are talking to them. But anything beyond that, it's kind of like, I don't know, raising questions, okay? You're, you're kind of controlling this right now, Scorpio. You're, you're in this um, strength energy. Okay, so here's the thing. You see this person doing all this stuff, doing all these efforts, trying to connect with you and everything, and you're just kind of like watching it go down or watching it happen. Okay. So your next moves here, Scorpio. This is someone's karma. I feel like you feel it's karma as well. It's like, that's what you get. A look at you with your Ten of Pentacles again, which is nice. This is like family energy. This is um, wealth, prosperity, being able to share it with your people, um, solving family matters here, select communications to do so. Some of you guys see that there's an argument within a family that needs to be settled here as well that you're trying not to get involved in. 
All right, hold on. Don't do it, Scorpio, because you know why? These people that are arguing, you're on some other different level right now. This is too much. If you come in there with that energy, you're going to like blow everyone's, I don't know. It's not, it's not, it's too aggressive. Okay. Don't come in there with that. Just don't. <laughs> because they're here like, you know, little tips and tops or whatever. If you are having a family situation, don't do it, Scorpio. You come in there with the emperor and the king of wands. It's game over for everybody. Don't do it. Not like that, at least. All right. Scorpio's next moves. <laughs> I, I know how you are, Scorpio. I'm Scorpio, too. Okay, you got two of swords here. Your next moves, look at that. The five of wands. Oh, that's nice. Okay, look at that. Interesting. Yeah. I feel like you're protecting yourself from certain people, disappointments, you know, jerks, whoever they are here. You don't want any part of that from what I'm seeing. Okay, there's too much incense in this room. Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me, let me get this person's first. This person's next moves. Interesting. You do kind of cool it down here from what I'm seeing. But that stuff is still going on, all right? <gasps> Why? Oh, God. Oh, gosh. All right. Listen. This person's next moves is like remorse, okay? Grieving. Um, feeling of loss especially about the past. This is someone up in their head about the memories they've had here with you and that's Scorpio sun energy and they're crying over this. This is someone crying over the past, crying over spilt milk, literally, all right? Well, I hope not literally, that would be really sad, but this is what they're doing. It's like, man, I messed up. Um, how do I get this back? How do I reconcile this? And there's so many cups here, it is ridiculous. So we have the five, six, and seven of cups coming up here. The seven of cups is someone who's kind of like, okay, wow, this is a big mess. I don't know what to do. Oh yeah, Scorpio won't talk to me or Scorpio's not on the same page with me. Oh my gosh, look at you. There's your emperor energy with your eight of wands and the five of wands. Remember I said I saw hangman energy for you? So this person's having a hard time right now trying to connect with you guys, but they're manifesting it. They're trying to get you. Okay. I did pick this up earlier too. Someone could be like doing like love stuff, like love manifestations with you quite literally or trying to, um, do like subliminal stuff here, okay? This is like dream, dream energy. Let me take a sip of this water. Okay, tell me more about Scorpio's um, Five of Wands, Knight of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles. You're definitely in some solo energy. I feel like you are staying out of it, exactly. You don't want any problems. You don't want any trouble with whatever it is that's coming your way. I do feel like you have peace and solitude or peace by yourself here coming in. Okay, wow. So someone is hiding their feelings here. I don't know, man. You don't trust this person, do you? It's like lost trust right here and also right here. All right. Yep, there you are in your hangman energy. Wait, what's going on here? Okay, eight of wands. I don't know, I feel like you're sitting out. You're sitting out of the drama, the trouble, the whatever's going on here. There's like some 
weird fit going on around you. I really don't feel like it has to do with you. I feel like you're watching people go at it. Like I said, you know, we went over this. Maybe this is someone that you are aware of is going at it with people in their environment. I know your previous reading had something similar here, but I feel like, you know, whatever efforts that you have made, whatever um, efforts you made to connect with someone here, it's almost paying off. No, it is paying off, but Someone's coming out, coming, coming out. Someone's coming towards you, Scorpio. It's okay. You're on your own here. You're in your nine of pentacles energy. This is you by yourself. You've made efforts to have peace in your life or to welcome love into your life, welcome abundance in your life, right? Someone is coming out of some sort of issue or conflict, whoever they're, whoever they're going at it with. And they're coming to you with this cup. The thing is, you may not be too enamored or too interested in it here. It's like, um, let me sit this one out or I don't want that. You're definitely in this hangman energy of let me chill for a second. Um, let me look at it from a different angle. Or let me make sure that this person either learned their lesson or they got through whatever they needed to with those conflicts coming up. This person is saying that they're... I don't know if you're not reciprocating, which is what it's looking like. Because remember I said something about that Four of Cups? Something is unrequited here. All right, let me see. Three cards for the situation first. Yeah, King of Cups. I was just looking at that right when I pulled it. Okay. The Queen of Swords, the Four of Wands, and wow. Interesting. Yep. This is what it is. Someone is having trouble telling you what they want and what they want is to come into union with you. This seems like there's been some sort of break period here, but it's almost like, is this the right thing to do? I don't know. That's basically what this is. This could be you, Scorpio. This is attached to you, the King of Cups energy. Maybe uh, Libra or Scorpio or maybe a fire sign energy here. Okay. We got air signs here as well. So there's someone trying to decide if they're going to open up communication about this. Like let's go into union with one another with the four of wands energy. This is my hope. And this is my desire with you, but it feels like someone's having trouble communicating this. Like I said, like you're blocking it. Either you're saying no, you're being real, uh, you know, queen of swords energy toward this person, which is like blunt, I guess or um maybe cold in a in a way okay so someone's wanting to speak about this with you because they, they have a big offer for you but i don't know how open you are to it to be honest i don't feel like you are right now not right now three cards for scorpio You better get yourself out of your own situations. There's a three of swords. That's what I feel like you're saying. Wow, look at that. Hmm. You guys may be uh, doing a lot of spiritual work here from what I'm seeing. The hermit and the high priestess surrounding the death card with the three of swords. It looks like if there's something that you don't want that's coming your way, you're kind of looking within. This could be like, why am I attracting this in the first place? Or you could be like shifting your perspectives about things here. There's a lot of inner work coming in, okay? I feel like this is you also needing to look toward not only what's going to make you happy, but what is best for you and your family life, or if you're looking to have a family type situation, whatever this is, because you have the 10 of cups and the 10 of pentacles here. Okay. So this does have to do with you possibly looking into how do I get this or how do I sustain this? That's kind of what's coming in here as your main energy. Okay. Let's get you don't tell me you're going to get that anger card. Someone else had the anger card. Who was that? Was that Pisces? Might have been. Was it Pisces? 
I don't know. Let's see. Yep, there it is. <laughs> I knew it. The Red Lady. I am pure strength. I honor my anger by giving voice to it. All right. Yeah, there may be some anger or frustration you haven't expressed to this person. Um, it feels like that's why you're avoiding them. Like you don't want to get into some sort of argument or conflict with this person. This person is real, real sorry about it, but I feel like you're kind of holding yourself back here. And it's because you're going to, you're going to go in there like, I don't know, man. You are too intense right now, Scorpio. So I feel like you're aware of this, which could be why you're not trying to get too involved with whoever's coming your way. But there's someone who's really irritating you for sure. And I feel like you got to be smart. Okay. So there's certain ways that you can express this. Of course, I'm sure you're aware. But um, I feel like you're not wanting it to get out of hand. So this could be why you're kind of like taking a step back. All right. So you got, I am pure strength. I honor my anger by giving voice to it. Yeah, there's something that needs to be spoken about here, especially if you have some sort of grudge or like something unsettled with this person. Um, or this is something you need to work out within yourself. That's pretty much what that is. I heard someone's an a-hole. <laughs> the enlightened feminine. Okay, hello. My gut instinct is wise beyond reason. I trust my intuition to guide me. Ah. Interesting. Didn't we just see something like that? All right, trust your intuition, Scorpio, especially about timing or whatever else is going on because there's something here that's really bothering you or something you're aware of. Could be your intuition is tipping you off here to something. But this is you looking within and figuring out how to deal with this situation here. Like if you need to leave it alone for a while, cool. Because I see you in this hangman energy. You're like, let me just take a break and cool off here for a second. Be on my own, separate myself from this situation, this problem. You know, whether this is one person causing drama here that you're mad at or two people or multiple people fighting in your environment. Don't just don't do it, Scorpio. All right, feel free to check your other placements. They may resonate as well on the playlist. Check your friends, family members, neighbors, coworkers, Peep and Tom, Peep and Tanya down the street, check their placements too so we know what they're up to. Kisses. Love you, bye.